Odds are Lee Circle is going to get a new name sometime in the near future. There was discussion about renaming it in honor of Leah Chase, but that's all changed now. Danny Monteverdi tells us what street could be renamed for her instead and what one idea for Lee Circle's name is now. Chef Leah Chase was in command of her kitchenette Dookie Chase on Orleans Avenue for decades. Now, her restaurant, where she helped to nurture the civil rights movement, could sit on a street that bears her name. This city council is considering that change after the citizen-led street renaming commission suggested renaming Lee Circle in her honor. It might be a more appropriate place to honor Miss Chase due to the geographic proximity to uh, Dookie Chase's. The idea is still in its earliest phases. If it moves forward, it would not be changed as part of the Street Renaming Commission's work. Instead, this city council would use the same process it used to change Jefferson Davis Parkway to Norman C. Francis Parkway. As for what Lee Circle could eventually be called, that's still up for debate. The Street Renaming Commission now says it's only working to rename the green space inside of the circle. That comes after Charles Marsala, who heads up the American-Italian Federation of the Southeast, pointed out that a report from the commission notes the circle is legally still named Tivoli Circle, in honor of an Italian town. Commissioner Mark Raymond suggested Harmony Circle as a possible name for the green space inside. We can honor multiple people, uh, such as Dorothy May Taylor, musicians and civil rights leaders alike, uh, giving us an opportunity to do something more robust and profound in that space. It's all part of a discussion that is far from over. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News.